Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about, finally going to talk about <laughs> a, a state. So we've been working on the character class, the menu, all that stuff, but we haven't really worked with states other than creating the state pure virtual class. Now, um, like I said in my previous videos, this is kind of an introduction to C++ as well as, as trying to practice a little bit with C++. And this is the state idea is kind of a, a thing that you can work with in, in several applications. But the ideal way to use states in this case in games would be to use, um, use C++ or some language um, and have some kind of embedded scripting language like Lua or something. So I've said this before, but just remember that. I try to say it in a few videos just so you know uh, what you what you can expect in the future. So when you're when you're learning real game development, you'll kind of shift into states uh, and stuff like that with uh, scripting. So just remember that. Um, and it wouldn't hurt to start learning some Lua and stuff like that or uh, Python. Or I like Lua because it's really good it has some good embedding with C++, so you can really use it um, really functionally. But anyway, let's get started. So let's make a little class. So you just a class wizard. Let's call the class the game state. Or I'll, I'll just not have the underscore game state. Um, base class state. Virtual destructor and OK. So now we have a game state. And I'm going to create a new little folder here. In, uh, in here um, new add uh, new filter and then call it states so I'm gonna have a bunch of states in here and I'm gonna put my game state in there just like that so I have game state .cpp, game state .h. it's nice and tidy so we don't have any any problems here private now to get started remember we talked about the let me just open state .h and put it in in here next to state uh, we talked about pure virtual uh, functions and abstract classes so this is an abs abstract class that means that it has a, a pure virtual function and this function has to be defined in game state a copy of it has to be defined in here uh, for this to work so it needs to have one of those functions and I'm just gonna do void update like that and we have to define it. So uh, virtual void update, virtual void update. And I'm going to do a definition of it here. Functions void uh, update. And I'm going to have game state. Just like that. Easy peasy. No problems. Update. Boom. OK. No problems. Now, we know. We don't really know what we need right now. Let's go into, let's remove this. Let's go into game.h. Let me just see what we have. So I know we, we're going to need, all of this is going to be, um, all of this is going to be state. So it's required here. Quit. Fine. Uh, we need character to be in game state because we need to, we're going to have it here in game, but we're going to send it into every state to be manipulated uh, as we need. So game state.h is going to need a include of character. Okay. So we're going to have an include of character here. And we're going to have a character pointer character. Character pointer character. And the game state constructor is going to get a const character pointer character. And we're just going to copy this. Um, and it's const so we don't uh, manipulate it by mistake. This character equals character. I don't think it can be const because I'm assigning it to something that's not const. Okay, fine, we'll just do that. Um, boom, whatever. We'll just leave it like that. Uh, so we get a character in here. Now this character should be mm, should be uh, valid. So it shouldn't be a problem. Game state, the destructor is fine. We don't need to do anything with that. Virtual void uh, update. So the update function is just going to update itself. We're going to do a bunch of stuff here. Menu, we can we can add anything we want. So I'm basically I'm basically going to put everything from game in there. That's that's the plan today. 
Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go into game.cpp and I'm going to go into the update function and I'll see what's going on. So we're we're printing a menu and we're updating a menu. All right. And if you look in game.age, I got a bunch of these includes. So I'm probably just going to include a bunch of these into game state because we're probably going to require those in here. So it's kind of a a yeah, it's kind of taking over the role of all of this updating and stuff like that. So I'm just going to we have these functions, right? Print menu, uh, get choice, update menu, and all that stuff, and get quit. We're just going to copy over all of this, these three things, and we're going to put it in game state. Okay? So we're going to put it in game state. Boom. Update menu, get choice, print menu. And we're going to copy all of the functions from this. All the way down to update control X all right we're gonna do that and we're gonna put it in game state dot CPP game state dot CPP so right above update here game state dot CPP so we won't have any problems it shouldn't be any problem here um, like this and then the reason it's red mostly is because we need to change this to game state uh, C V and V and we also need to using names namespace std like that so we don't have a lot of errors this quit so there is no real quit here let's go to state.h there is a get quit here uh, so we're gonna use that instead so this get quit I think quit um, set wait what can I do this let me just do this I don't think it has uh, it has saved really let's just see in game state okay public state that's good so this um, uh, it should find stuff I'm not sure why it's not doing it right now but this set quit equals true like that and game state has no member set quit all right let me just see if state has a set quit all right const bool no void void set quit const bool quit and then we're just going to define this in state dot cpp and void um, state set quit const bool quit this quit equals quit all right easy peasy just like that. boom and uh, now game state shouldn't have a problem with set quit all right void set quit bool quit perfect so we're setting it to true now the uh, important part here is to just copy this all right and we're gonna put it in game state so we just copy that and put it in game state boom easy peasy now set quit get choice print menu uh, there we go get menu bar okay all right so let me just think now cool so we we got all that done now we have a character and we have the update so uh, game dot get quit all right so when we end game then we will set quit to true when there is if this states dot size dot empty then this quit equals true so there you go so once it gets empty we will quit the whole thing all right otherwise we will mm, update because we're updating the game each each 
iteration, uh, we're going to update the state. So this current state update. All right, boom, easy peasy. And this is where we're going to initialize the states. So this current state equals uh, this states at position. Um, let's see how we're going to do this. So what you want to do usually is you want to use a stack. Now we're using we're using states. Okay. Uh, we could do we could actually do a stack. Let's include include stack. Now a stack is basically just a stack of stuff. So what's on top is being used. And then once you remove what's on top, you get to the one that's below. And once you remove that, you get to the one that's below. Imagine a uh, deck of cards, right? And you just pick one card at a time. That's how it works. And if you add something, you put it on the top, right? If you add a card, you put it on the top. If you remove a card, you remove from the top. So that's kind of how a stack works. So we'll just remove, we'll remove that and we'll just create stack, uh, a stack of states. All right. And we'll remove current state because we don't need that. It's kind of necessary. Uh, this states dot push game state. So we're just going to push a game state with this character. All right. And we need to include game state here. Include state, include character, um, and then include game game state there you go so now we can create a game state with character and what this is going to do is we're going to do this states dot top all right we get the top element dot update all right boom easy peasy if this states dot top uh, or actually once we just remove it we'll remove it so it won't really matter once we we're gonna pop it as we change states okay well we could do that wait if this states dot top uh, get quit if we want to quit that state we're gonna pop that state all right then we're gonna pop it uh, whoops this states dot pop that's all you have to do so what this means is we're updating the state. All right, we're updating it. We're checking for the quit in that state. So once that state wants to quit, all right, once it says, okay, I'm done, I want to quit, we're going to pop it from the stack. And once it's popped, whatever is below will start updating. And and then we'll, we'll keep going. But once that whole stack is empty, once the game state is removed and every type of state is removed, we'll quit the whole game. All right, then we'll quit the whole game. So that's kind of how this will work as for now. Uh, so we have one state. And whenever we want to add a state, we'll just push a state onto the stack. Okay? So that, that way we'll kind of be able to go through and put as many states as we want on top of each other. And once one state is done, we'll get back to the one we were in before. So it shouldn't be a problem. And then get quit. Now if we run the program, we shouldn't really have any issues. I hope you can follow me on this. We did have an issue. Uh, let's see. All right, so I had a little issue with uh, game state and state. But um, if you remember, like I remember now, state is actually an abstract class. So you can't create a stack of states. Okay, it, it can't be in instantiated. So you can't create them themselves. So you have to create state pointers. All right, so we're getting into some dynamic memory now. So we create a stack of state pointers and there are no states in here. They're just pointers to states. So they can be any type of state as long as this, that state class, like game state, uh, is a ba is a uh, child class of the abstract state class. Okay, so, but just to make the long story short, all you have to do is create pointers here and instead of just game state, you do new game state. But this is dynamic memory, so this is dangerous. We need to delete this. We can't just not delete that and leave it alone. Uh, so we have delete character here, but we're not doing that in there. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of go in here. And now that we made it a pointer, 
we're going to go in here and we have to change some stuff. So we need to do a pointer arrow here to update since ev everything is pointers here. And when you're working with a pointer, you need to use arrows, not points. And we're going to pop it. But instead of just popping it, we're going to do this. This states dot top top like that and we're gonna delete this so we're gonna delete the data in top and then we're gonna pop the pointer so we're gonna remove the pointer and we're gonna delete at the actual data so that's really important to do um, if it's empty we quit so to quit we need to empty everything and that we we need to kind of make sure to uh, to delete everything before but if we for some reason quit the thing we say if this states dot empty if it's not empty then we need to just while this states not empty this states dot top delete and this states dot pop so we need to pop everything until it it's empty all right in case of not uh, removing everything so it's just a safety thing so now we have a bunch of stuff here we have our update and everything like that everything works in states game state looks fine it's just as normal uh, game state here looks just perfect no issues so if we run this program now we shouldn't have a problem all right so continue uh, character stats we're getting everything now we're in game state okay remember that we're in game state and if I quit we quit the game and we're out and it quit because because game saw that game states the states uh, stack is empty so let's just quit the whole game otherwise if we had more more states we would kind of pop back into a a previous state and so on so that's the beauty of it I hope you kind of understood that uh, so yeah that's about it for this video I think it's been pretty long but we have started the work with states and now we we know how, how they work kind of so i hope it helped and uh, thanks for sticking with me thanks for all the support as usual and uh, i have a bunch of new links in the description so go check them out subscribe if you can and if you want to if you like the video just drop a like and i really appreciate it, it really helps me out so uh, i know a lot of you guys are with me for a long time and you guys all help me out a lot so i just want to say thank you uh, as usual all right so take care, keep learning, work hard, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.